I said T B D. This, this is what it's all about. They said that we were too loud, too proud. They told us that we couldn't do things on our own terms. And we said, we weren't asking for your permission. match was awesome! <laughs> Be careful, Sally. You'll give her a bigger head than she already has. So, flaming table again? Time tested? Also an insurance risk. Not to mention we've seen it before. But that was one hell of a main event. Way to rally the crowd afterwards, too. Well, I meant what I... Oh, I know. I'm very aware of how much time I spend doing paperwork to keep the lights on around here so that you can go out there and break stuff. But you break stuff so cool, Gap. I just hope I can put on a match like that someday and, and have that sort of confidence on the mic. A reason why you can't. You may be new around here, Psycho Sal, but you could be the future of TBD someday. <laughs> Heck, she could be the future of WWE tomorrow. Literally. Really, Sally? You're going to the WWE Vegas tryouts? You're not mad, are you? I do feel bad even thinking about leaving after everything you've done for me. After everything you've done for this whole locker room, really. There's a reason why we call you the captain around here. Who am I to stop you from pursuing an opportunity like that? I'm not mad. I'm excited for you. Huh. Even sounds like she means it. What's that mean? Let's just say that WWE is not exactly looking for people like me. They have a type. I'm good at doing my own thing. Different strokes, you know? They were literally looking for people exactly like you. Cap turned them down a few years back with some strong four-letter words. I respectfully declined WWE so you and I could start TBD together and work with all talent, including those who don't fit their mold. Look, I have no ill will towards WWE. Going there just wasn't the right move. If that's the case, you'd have no problem coming with me to the tryout. Wait a second. This feels like a trap. Look, Sally needs a ride and we need new talent for TBD. WWE can't sign everyone from the tryouts, so you go, watch Sally's back, and you lurk. And if you walk away with some new names for us to reach out to, so be it. I could sure use the support. Obviously, I can't go as the boss of a rival promotion, but a top, technically free agent? Fine, I'll go with you to the WWE tryout, but don't expect me to like it. I wouldn't ask you to. Hooray! I can't believe they just let me walk right in here. It's a tryout, not the CIA. I can't believe I'm here at all. What's that they say in old movies? You got moxie, kid. And don't let my negative attitude about this place sway you. You could learn a lot from WWE. You got this. Are you really afraid of running the ropes? I thought you were a big shot college star. Yeah. I ran on a track. I didn't hurl my body into tight ropes. <laughs> tight ropes? Really? I don't get why they keep inviting so-called athletes to these things. WWE should focus on talent who actually know the business. Maybe you could focus on minding your own. Business, that is. <laughs> wow. Great comeback. <laughs> you didn't seem worth the effort to come up with a better one. Wait, don't I know you? 
You're with TDD. They call you the captain over there, right? That's actually not my name, but if the reputation fits. You must get it then. We're not here to have our spot taken away by someone who's never even stepped in the ring before. If you're worried about losing your so-called spot to a rookie, you're probably in the wrong place. Are you really that insecure? <laughs> oh, I'll show you how insecure I am. Are you kidding me? Couldn't stop yourself from making trouble for even a moment, Cap? Uninvited and still somehow a thorn in my side. Ladies, ladies, we don't have time for shenanigans today. And that includes whatever beef anyone in this room, Shotzi included, might have with someone else from the independent circuit. My colleague, Mr. Regal, is right. We've got a busy schedule today to get all of you seen. Even those of you we weren't expecting to see. Yes, the curious question of our unexpected guest. Thank you, Justine. I'm not disappointed to see you, but I am confused. You've turned down our invitations in the past, but you show up today. What can I say? Circumstances change. I'm ready to give it a try. Yeah, she's super stoked to be here. Well, that's just fantastic. Everyone warm up. We'll get started soon. So, why are you really here? TBD scouting trip? Well, I... Respect.
I really wasn't expecting to see you here today. What can I say? It was a last minute decision. And Regal and Justine don't seem to mind. Why do you? Are you really going to pretend you don't remember? How you refused to book me in TBD? First off, I don't do the booking. My business partner, Geneva Rose, handles all of that as promoter. And secondly, no, I don't remember that at all. TBD was the hottest emerging promotion, and there was never any room on the card for me because someone else was hogging all the attention as champion. Hogging attention as champion? You mean successfully and consistently defending my title? You say tomato. I say you're a selfish, overrated champion who I could have easily beaten if given the opportunity. I'm sure you told Geneva not to schedule the match. I can't speak for Geneva, but sounds like an honest mistake. I'm sure we would have loved to have you on TBD, even if you wouldn't have beaten me for the title. We can agree to disagree. What we can't disagree on, however, is that I'm the one in charge today. But since you're so talented, you won't mind the tryout match I just set up for you. What did you do? Just set up a match against those two other potential recruits. Since you had such an issue with them, felt right for you to take both of them on at the same time. A two-on-one handicap match? Sure, why not? Unless you want me to tell Regal and Justine it's a problem. It's no problem. I'm that good. Perfect. I look forward to evaluating your performance. Thanks for the help out there. Tight ropes. It must have sounded like an idiot. No problem. And hey, everyone starts somewhere. I didn't know about any of this stuff until I started watching and doing it and, well, learned all about this stuff. Uh, fair point. I just didn't want to pass up a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity because I thought I wasn't prepared enough. Especially since the recruiter said they could train me in the basics. You did track in college? All conference. Set my fair share of records, too. Ever been in a fight? Does online count? <laughs> Probably not when you're in the ring against someone who has. But you'll figure it out. Good luck today. Taking on two other potential recruits at once. Quite a way to make an impression, but dare I say risky. I like risky. I respect it. But we'll find out soon enough if she can handle it. Don't hold your breath. She can't. Pretend you're at a live show. We're an audience of hundreds.
pretty exciting for a tryout. Honestly, I'm the exception to the rule. Generally not into bringing indie talent. Well done. Fabulous maneuver. Excellent stamina. Be careful. They'll all think they're getting signed. Fear not. I am very selective. Come on! I thought this was supposed to be easy for you, Cap. this make you want to get back in the ring again? Seriously? Everything always makes me want to get back in the ring. Justine, we talked about this. Don't worry, I know my role. For now. Reminds me of something I'd do in the ring. Sure, but she's not actively betraying anyone right now. I bet she has it in her, though. Wasn't expecting to see two on one today. Are you sure we need to sign anyone new in WWE? Talent just keeps getting better and better, huh? TVD, two opponents and you still wipe the floor with them. You're Psycho Sally, right? I saw your tape online. Don't get the psycho part, but we can work on that. And you're new enough that she probably hasn't ruined you by teaching you bad habits yet. Whatever grudge you have against me, don't take it out on Sally. She deserves this opportunity, not your snark. It's okay, Cap, I, I can take it. Even if I am also totally overwhelmed that one of my favorite WWE superstars knows who I am. So, did I pass your little challenge? Anyone can get lucky in one match. Luck? Cap's always great in the ring. I watch her almost set a woman on fire. Believe me, I miss some of the stuff I used to do in the indies more than anyone. But in WWE, we don't set people on fire on a whim. <laughs> on a whim? You should have seen the whole story, though. It was an epic culmination, a confrontation for the ages. Let's go, Sally. We're wasting our time talking to her. But, but I'm proud of what we do in TBD. Right, right. TBD is so unique. TBD is so different. So different that apparently it never had room for me. Honestly, still kind of weird you're holding on to that. You're proud of TBD? 
then show us this crazy, unique TBD style you're all about. Let's see a no DQ match actually impress me. That won't be a problem. Against her. All due respect to Psycho, you and I both know that she's not ready to take me on in that kind of match, Shotzi. You don't want to fight me, Cap? You know it's not that. Hey, I gotta earn my Psycho Stripe sometime, right? Why not at a WWE tryout? At the crossroads of possibly the most important opportunity of my life. Yeah, why not? You heard her before. She can take it. Are you sure you're okay with this? Let's do it. Couldn't help but over here, perhaps a bit of bad blood between you and Shotzi? I guess so. Not what I was expecting coming here today. But if she wants to start trouble, I'm more than happy to finish it. I've heard all about that fighting spirit and attitude you bring to your matches. Isn't that a good thing? I mean, I've heard about your fighting spirit too, Justine. WWE champion and legend comes back only to screw with her niece. Maybe not the best person to have grooming the next generation of WWE talent at NXT. Funny. That's actually what got me my new job. Well, that and my decades worth of experience and unparalleled wisdom. Such as? <laughs> Don't forget that in this business, you have to play a bit of politics and remember the long game. Sometimes letting bad blood fester can come back to bite you. I'm a bit of an expert on that. Makes sense. Another word of advice? This match that Shotzi made for you against Sally, don't hold back. Taking it easy on someone close to you won't do them any favors. Understood. I can't believe you've convinced me to let this go forward, Shots. It's a tryout, right? Do you want to try them out or not? I'm a fan of Feet to the Fire as much as anyone, but I'm actually with the boss here. Although I'm still looking forward to the entertainment. Ever get the feeling that you're not in charge of the thing you're supposed to be in charge of? Constantly. It just makes it more fun. Why is it that WWE superstars are always saying that? If this was TBD, I'd be walking out. Playing it so safe. Show me what you got, Miss TBD. Honestly, I'm impressed with both of them. in your dumb promotion team. If I didn't know better, I'd say Shotzi doesn't really feel that way. What? WWE superstars aren't always fully transparent with their feelings and emotions? <laughs> Wish I had my brass knuckles to throw them.
One, two. Come on, is that all you got? Show me more, Miss TBD. I'd be happy to. Get in here. All I ever wanted was to take you on. <laughs> be my guest. We'll see how this ends. Ladies, ladies. This is unbecoming of a WWE tryout. I don't know. I thought it was pretty cool. Would be cooler to lay her out right now. Try it. No, there'll be none of that. At least not without an audience. Don't I count? Shotzi, you're in need of a tune-up match before your title opportunity against Bianca Belair. And our guest today is the perfect local talent we're looking for to face you. She'll push you. A real challenge. She certainly fits the bill to be my punching bag. If you're amenable, I'd like to book you on the next Raw. As a local talent? You are local, right? Yeah. I'm no tune-up match, though. But for a chance to settle this with Shotzi, I'm in. Fantastic. Then it's settled. Hey, Miss Psycho. I'm impressed with your... What's the word? <laughs> Moxie? That's it. I'm signing you to NXT. <laughs> you won't regret it! I can't believe you got into a fight, and that's how you get to debut on Raw. Very funny. I'm not debuting on Raw. I'm just having a match. They asked me here to wrestle, and that I can do. Tell that to the millions of people who will be watching you wrestle on Raw for the first time from their homes tonight. Even if this opportunity doesn't mean the same to you, don't waste it. Why do you think I brought tinfoil to take home the food from catering? I'm serious. So am I. Listen, I hear you. But I also know why I'm here. Local talent almost never win these matches. But I do intend to make an impression. Hey! Watch where you're going. Excuse my oblivious friend. Wait a minute. TBD? Yeah? I've heard of that. Welcome to Raw. See? Making an impression already. Oh, whatever. Good luck out there tonight.
You made it. Welcome to Raw. And you're welcome. You're lucky to have me. I'm gonna put on one hell of a show tonight. With an attitude like that? I hope so. In any case, the show's not too far off from starting. I'd suggest getting changed into your gear. <laughs> I'm ready. You are... wearing a t-shirt? <laughs> not just any t-shirt. This very TBD t-shirt. Why? I'm proud to rep TBD. If I'm gonna have this opportunity, I want to also support something I believe in and share it with a larger audience. I get it, and I respect your passion. Tell you what, just don't tell anyone else we've talked about this. I know there are some who would want me to make you change. Change? Me? <laughs> you don't know me that well. Right then. Good luck out there. It's Shotzi's opponent who comes to WWE with a reputation. The following is scheduled for one fall, making her way to the ring from New York. The Superstar! I see she's repping a local promotion. Does her shirt say TBD? I know her. She's the captain. A bit of a legend on the indie circuit. I think she could give Shotzi some trouble tonight. We're TBD on whether this woman has what it takes to make it in WWE. Shotzi ready to roll over the competition tonight like a tank. Just like that tank, Shotzi herself is a loose cannon, and that's putting it lightly. You never know what kind of thing Shotzi is gonna do to her opponents, or even herself. You're absolutely right, Saxton. I mean, Shotzi shaved her head just to intimidate an opponent. Always willing to throw caution to the wind and do anything to win. Shotzi is all about going balls to the wall. This young woman is always ready to go to battle to give everything she's got in the process. As this match gets underway, Shotzi's opponent is looking pretty confident for her first time on Raw. Even though she hasn't been in WWE before, she's been in big matches all around the world. I don't think this stage is going to phase her one bit. I don't know. I respect what she's done before this, but nothing can compare to the bright lights of WWE. At some point in this match, it will play a factor. Oh. And she's stunned in the corner. Man. Knife edge chop echoing through the arena. Uh, Shotzi caught by the counter. Oh, vicious running knee lift. She's starting to look concerned. She can withstand the punishment, though. <laughs> oh, big boot. Uh-oh. Oh, straight to the floor. I think there's going to be some second guessing about trying that move again. Oh, and a reversal. Boom! Oh, man, a little extra luster behind that kick. 
Got to respect the strategy to work over the arm. This match is spilled out to the ringside area. And as we can see, tension's really running high now. Oh, uh, yeah, we should probably clear the way, guys. Just crashing down with high impact. Oh, and a rear super kick. From behind, nasty. This match is coming down to the last second. Someone's got to get back to the ring now. Running knee lift. And this might not have a pleasant ending. Down and across the knee. That won't just separate your shoulder. That'll divorce it. Shots the absolute. Oh, she'd had enough of that. But fans strikes. Both wrists captured and that was nasty. Cotter. Springboard off. Bam! Springboard roundhouse. Good night. That's a few times now she's taken a hit up in that region. Oh, a nasty stop to finish it off. Takedown. Skull first. Look at the arm for a Fujiwara armbar. Ah, oh, Fujiwara armbar applied. Pulverizing the arm is a great way to create an advantage, basically forcing your opponent to fight one-handed. Oh, that might have just broken something. She adjusts it and reverses it. Oh, what a boot. Right to the leg. Ooh. Oh, there's the old. The stunt puller. Leg snap. What a double axe handle. Oof. Both arms captured and vitriolic stops. And one more for good measure. And if the first stop doesn't send you the message, the follow-up ones definitely will. Hard right hand. What are we going to see here? Uh-oh. Spiking DDT. Just a continuous rush on Shotzi here. Shotzi has run into a roadblock. He's in big, big trouble. I can't believe it. When was the last time a local competitor beat a WWE superstar? I don't know, but it looks like Shotzi is just as bewildered as us. I think furious is the word you're looking for. Shotzi from behind, taking out her frustration. To the outside, coming our way. A loss like this could put Shotzi's title opportunity against Bianca Belair at risk. Shotzi is relentless, but there's a reversal. Setting Shotzi up for something big here. We got to move. And down through the table. Talk about a raw debut. What the? <laughs> Sorry about the table, boys. But Shotzi asked for more from Miss TBD, so she got it. Thanks for the mic, Byron. And by the way, watch our show! Well, that sure was something. For God's sake, hold on to your mic next time, Saxton. Wow, Byron, that's the most action you've seen in years. <laughs>